Hello, this is Dr. B. Welcome to one of my favorite sites, Wonderopolis. I like to use this site for reading, writing, and exploring curiosity with my students. So once you get into the Wonderopolis site, it begins with the wonder of the day. Today's wonder is, why do your pupils get bigger in the dark? We believe you'll find today's wonder of the day quite eye-opening. So every day there's a new wonder that pops up on the site. Students can click Discover This Wonder, and it's going to give them more information about the wonder. It begins with a video at the top. You'll see here, if they press play, there's a one-minute video on the pupil from Chris Christopher Wharton, and the video explains why pupils get bigger in the dark, and it just kind of gets students excited about what the wonder is about. Once you go down, it also gives them a several paragraph long nonfiction reading text. If you've got students that are younger, they can listen to the text or they can read it themselves. You'll also notice as they go through their hyperlinks and this takes them to more information inside of the article. As we scroll down, it's quite a long text. And then it asks the question, did you get it? Once you click, did you get it, you can press start, and it takes the students through a comprehension test, finding out whether or not they understood what it was that they read. If I scroll down to the bottom, it asks if I'd like to join the discussion. I can leave a reply here, and the neat thing about this is the Wonderopolis staff will interact with your students. Your students can put in their name, email address, website, and comment, and if they have a question, the staff will interact with them and answer those questions. The wonder words on the right-hand side are great for writing. You can encourage your students to put these words inside of their writing, and it gives them the definitions of the words as well by clicking on here. They can take the wonder word challenge, which is a vocabulary quiz, and then there's a wonder gallery that shows, in this case, pupils, because that's what the wonder of the day is about. There is some more information on the right-hand side that you can explore with your students, um, a variety of different things. They can try it out. There's different science experiments and things that they can do around the wonder, so more enrichment activities. Still wondering, it takes them to an additional site with more information. Um, in this case, it's talking about from cells to DNA. It's another lesson on DNA within the human cell nucleus. And then they can test their knowledge over here. They can explore other wonders here on the left-hand side. These are all of the wonders that have been posted on the site up to this point you'll see that there are a lot of different wonders. I like this because you can go down and select the grade level. So if you're teaching fifth grade and you're teaching, let's see here, you want to get some information in fifth grade uh, for the, let me go down here. Let's say that you're doing something in the area of geography. Click geography fifth grade, and then it'll give you some information on wonders that might be able to pique your students' interest and get them excited. They can explore the wonders like we just did. They can ask questions of what are you wondering, and then the students can put in their own information about what they're wondering about, and it might be found on the site later on. And then they can vote for favorite wonders. This is a great site, again, for reading. It gives them some nonfiction text to get them ready for uh, state testing. And then I like to use it for writing as well because it gives you that nonfiction text piece that then you can ask a question about to create a performance-based assessment. Well, I hope this helps, and I'm excited to hear what you decide to do with this. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.